Well, much of the valley cleaning up from fallen trees, the monsoon storms over the last few days. In the Navajo Nation, the storms mean that it could not, many couldn't leave that their, their homes because of washed out roads. Steve Nielsen is live with more on the infrastructure problems that the reservation continues to face. That's exactly right. I mean, in the valley here, we see this a lot. If you're driving around today, you've seen a lot of parks that are flooded, filled with water, but they're all next to the same thing, which is a beautiful paved road. So even though we get flooding, we get all of this rain, you can still drive to work. You can still go to the grocery store. You can get everything done that you need to get done. But in other parts of our state, it's simply impossible. The storms have been dramatic, constant, and at times devastating. The outcome for some have been far reaching. My sister who has three very young children, um, you know, only her husband works. He couldn't get to work yesterday. And so they had to literally choose between him getting a paycheck yesterday. That's Arizona legislator Jasmine Blackwater Nigren. She lives in and represents Navajo Nation. These are photos her family's taken of the roads outside their homes after the storms. The roads have been washed out. Um, and I believe it was yesterday that the roads were so bad that um, in the morning time, you know, people weren't able to get to work. They weren't able to drive through the roads um, because, you know, it's a dirt road and the roads were washed out. It's a problem for many roads now, but it's an ongoing issue. Here's video of major storms in 2018 and then fixing damage in 2020. In fact, of the more than 14,167 miles of roads in Navajo Nation, more than 9,000 miles or 84% are dirt roads. If it's a paved road, if there is, um, you know, more infrastructure, it this would not have happened. Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez says red tape has been a major hurdle, but help may be on the way in D.C. The White House tells Fox 10 Phoenix funding is being set aside for projects like this. We're hopeful that there will be a specific allocations for the 574 tribes dealing with uh, road improvement. So how much funding are we actually talking about here? The White House wasn't able to nail down a number with me today as this whole thing has been in flux. But Blackwater Nigren, she tells me in her talks with the administration, she believes money is coming in this infrastructure bill if it passes to all of the tribal nations. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.